ocean lovers, it's Tim from Sea Explorers, where we've been taking you to the best dive sites on the planet for more than 30 years. You may have remembered in our last video where Finn Snow and the Critter Hunter were talking about some problems that Critter Hunter Justin was having with his lights and how we tried to work around that. He does grab basically his light was out, I had to be hovering and uh, keep going and see him even the grab while he's filming underneath me. <laughs> well that's brought up some questions about what is underwater photography and videography really like. So in this video we're going to talk about what it takes to actually get these shots that we're using to put together these different videos you're seeing on YouTube and we're going to talk about dangers and the problems that one might face when doing underwater photography. Are you ready? Let's go diving! So when you're doing underwater photography you need lots of equipment. Lots and lots and lots of equipment. You actually become kind of a swimming photography studio with lights, lenses, cameras, and of course everything has to be enclosed in waterproof housings. So it's very important you find the balance. Especially if like Justin here or me, you sometimes swim with two cameras. Of course, one of the best things about underwater photography is that you can get close to the marine life. You need to get close to make sure you have enough light in your shots and that they fill the frame. That's one of the extra special things about it. Being right there, part of nature, in that animal's world. Of course, it's not always easy. Sometimes you have to adjust your body in a current while aiming your camera in the opposite direction like Finn Snow here while he's trying to get a shot of this ghost pipefish. You may end up wanting to put yourself in a position that the current or some surge is pushing you away from. So you'll have to reposition several times to get the shot like Cheryl in here. Or you might need to get a big huge camera into a tiny little space. So that means folding up your extra lights. Sometimes you get the perfect shot all lined up and then here comes your dive buddy swimming into their shot with their lights and their camera. Sometimes you don't even know they're coming. You think you're all alone with the nudibranch, and then someone else appears. But sometimes it's really cool to have another diver in the shot. It helps show perspective on how large or small the animal might be. Sometimes it's an action shot where you get them doing some underwater photography of their own. Also, again, showing how close you need to be or give some perspective on the size. And when it's all dialed in and you've got all the balance set just right, well, it's a pretty amazing feeling. You can swim through the water, documenting what you're seeing. You can find the smallest little animals like this hairy shrimp. Simply point your camera, get that shot. You have to be steady and you have to be all dialed in, like we said, to shoot an animal this small. So is underwater photography dangerous? Well, sometimes you do have to deal with some marine life that might be feeling a little extra friendly that day and getting a little closer than you might like. You also have to keep your eyes peeled because some animals are very, very camouflaged and dangerous with poisonous spines or they might be venomous animals that are, again, getting very friendly with you. Of course, if you want to film the most dangerous animals in the world, you have to get close to them. But no matter the challenges you're facing while you're shooting the underwater marine life, there is nothing that compares to the feeling of actually getting to document the most amazing environment on the planet 
the marine environment. And here in the Philippines, we are blessed to have one of the best marine environments on the planet. We get to see amazing species. We get to see beautiful animals. We get to see some outstanding coral landscapes with tons and tons of marine life. It's an absolute privilege to be able to go underwater and document all of these unbelievable scenes so that people that can't be here diving it every day like us can still enjoy it. day when the dive is over and you know you've captured those amazing shots, you can't help but smile about it. One of the best feelings in the world. So there's your behind the scenes look at underwater photography. Hopefully that got you guys excited to maybe give it a try yourselves or to just enjoy and kind of appreciate all the hard work and practice and ins and outs that go into making one of these videos before we even get to like the editing process or anything. It's a really cool thing to do. It's kind of a labor of love, but it is really, really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more amazing underwater action. And come on down to Sea Explorers Philippines, where we always dive with a smile. See you underwater. Ano ko na rin yung